So get those uh, responses in as we're going through the show and chat about anything else that we're talking about on our show today, uh, including what our guest is here to talk about, which we'll yeah. bring him in now. Jim Seaver is the communications chair for the Frankfurt Flag Initiative. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. It's nice to be here. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Um, and, and we'll let you, do, do you feel like you want to weigh in on the question of the day now, or do you want to hold off? You know, I could talk about flags, but I'm really here to debate the soupiness of soup, <laughs> oh. because I am in the camp that believes cereal oh. is is a soup. Oh, do these people exist? Like That's it. good enough. I like the to say too. Okay. So I can go hard on that if you need me to, but I can also <laughs> talk about flags. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we save it? I want to talk. I want to get into it. But yeah, I also we'll let a people, few more responses come through. People are help. here to. They want to hear about the flag. We've been talking about the flag. That's right. For several weeks, uh -huh. and we're right up to the end. Right. Yeah. I mean, we've got a few days left. So voting. Voting is still open until uh, Sunday. Yes. Right. And, and end of the day Sunday. That's right. And you can do that at Frankfurt Flag. Dot org. Um, uh, Jim, how, how has the, the response been kind of so far from what you've seen? Better than what we ever could have imagined. That's awesome. Um, we were initially thinking, you know, if we got a couple of hundred people mm -hmm. who weighed in on this, we'd be in good shape. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have wildly exceeded what awesome. we were hoping for. So it's nice That's to awesome. see that people are interested in it, yeah. getting a lot of good feedback uh, as well. So, yeah, we're excited to see how the results shake out. That's good to hear. Um, and let's give a little bit of background for pol for folks, just in case they are uh, they're coming to this now, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, there's a flag voting that's happening, and I can do it this weekend. And maybe they didn't realize that there were open submissions, and so maybe, sure. maybe give a little background of how we got here. Absolutely. So when people ask what is the Frankfurt Flag Initiative, I always say that this is a 100% citizen-led mm -hmm. initiative. It's important we, to keep in mind. Yes. Yeah. So this is because people are really good to be like, well, what, are, what are you spending all the city time? on flags right it doesn't matter but it's not this is yeah. all volunteer you're it not is. getting paid for i this. am not getting paid this <laughs> right. is all volunteer right. we are right. not using taxpayer money yeah. for this yeah. um we are operating with the support of the frankfurt city commission right. so they are on board with us doing this but mm -hmm. the whole point of it was for the citizens to approach the local government and say hey we want a flag that really represents what Frankfurt means in the 21st century mm -hmm. and uh, to give us a source of pride to rally around uh, for many years to come. So that's the yeah. goal, and uh, we're excited to do that. Yeah. And, and again, I think that is important to reiterate that you're not um, a staff of the city or sure. county or anything like that. It's full citizen-led um, I, yeah, that was that was part of my my question there. And so, folks, if it's frankfurtflag.org. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if we can, uh, do you want to run through? We've got all the flag designs yes. here. If we want to run through, I, I think maybe we can show the the all five at once, just so people can can okay. see that. Yes. Yeah. So let's talk about how we got here. Um, back in the spring, we asked the residents of Frankfurt and Franklin County to send us designs for what they thought was a good flag. And I think it's very important that it is a public choice. It's not our committee saying mm -hmm. this is what your new flag is. Mm -hmm. It's really the public getting to choose. So uh, they submitted over 100 designs to us. Mm -hmm. And in recent months, the committee has worked to see what are the common themes that are emerging? What are the best uh, designs? not just for uh, Frankfurt, but also in keeping with what are considered the best designs according to the North American Vexillological Association. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Flag experts, yeah. uh, recognized <laughs> flag experts. So you saw the five designs that were just put up on the screen. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the over 100 designs that the public submitted to us, the common themes that often emerged were for what represents Frankfurt, what's symbolic of Frankfurt again and again, the state capital symbolized mm -hmm. by that star. And then we sit in this very distinctive curve of the Kentucky River. Mm -hmm. So again and again, you see that kind of S curve emerging in different ways. And then uh, another conversation we had was, well, what is our color scheme? Are we going to yeah. you know, kind of break out and do something kind of wild, purple, orange, what <laughs> have you? Or are we going to take a look at the current flag, which was approved in 1959 mm -hmm. and loosely based off of the state flag? Which is what people can see yeah, here. So there's the current flag. And so it has, 
it has things to like, but it does need an does update. It? <laughs> There's a you lot know? going on there, and I always say that the flag that we currently have met the needs of Frankfurt in, in 1959. 1959. But if you look at the way that flag design has evolved in the decades since then, yeah. um, we have developed some best practices, mm-hmm. and this flag that we have now doesn't fully meet those guidelines so just to give you an example um it's not great to have a lot of type Mm. or print on a flag because that's very hard to read at a distance yeah um or if it's flapping in the breeze exactly (laughs) there's a lot going on there um you have daniel boone on the upper left you Mm. have a boy scout on the upper right Mm. daniel boone never actually lived in frankfurt (laughs) right um allegedly his but his you know his grave is here allegedly yeah, yes and then you have debate the there. old state capital new state capital so yeah. how could you take those ideas and streamline them but still pay homage to the flag that we have yeah. now i think the the ones that you guys chose are, do, all do that they call back to that and i think you're getting to the colors right and that sure was, yeah the colors and you got stars and you have the, the the curve of the river i think that's all really cool that we didn't just throw it out right but there's good stuff stuff there let's let's lean into that absolutely so we really see it as more of an update of the flag Mm -hmm. rather than just throwing the current flag out Mm -hmm. and starting over from scratch Mm -hmm. Uh, Uh, go ahead but uh, so what was where did it start who who was and maybe i I missed probably the earlier interviews yeah we had a couple interviews with uh with tom farmer yes who has uh moved right he moved to to maine if i remember right so tom is our illustrious founder of the frankfurt flag (laughs) initiative he was the private citizen who said frankfurt needs a new city flag that was driven by the idea that when he asked most people who live here didn't even know what do we have a flag they didn't didn't know yeah. and when they'd see the design they'd say oh oh that's <laughs> yeah. it yeah that's yeah. that's the one that's sitting on a flagpole behind in city hall yeah. behind the mayor every time there's a right. city commission meeting yes yeah, yeah so tom is still involved but he's okay. doing it from afar uh he and his wife moved out of state last mm-hmm. month uh mm-hmm. because their careers pulled them in a different direction yeah. but uh he has been helping us and uh i took over the communications mm-hmm. ira langdon took over some of the logistics work so we are moving full speed ahead. Yeah. And there's, I mean, there's lots of, again, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I don't want to take over. I'm, this is, you know, I'm very interested oh, in the subject. Fun. We're having, we're chatting. So, but uh, there's, there's precedent in other cities and even states, right, where having a flag that people can get behind really is a, is sort of a community building thing and people are pr- proud to wear it or fly it or anything like that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. A good flag not only tells people who you are from afar, mm. but it tells you tells them what you're about as well. Mm. Um, I'm sure we've all encountered people from Chicago who feel very strongly yeah. about their distinctive flag. Yeah. People from Washington, D.C., the same mm-hmm. thing. And it's not just big cities that have been doing this. A lot of smaller towns as well have been redesigning their flags in recent years. States, mm-hmm. um, Minnesota just redesigned their flag. New Zealand had a flag competition a few years ago. Cleveland is currently updating its mm-hmm. flag. Good and, time to be a vexillologist. Uh, exactly, yes. It's a growth industry, <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> But you're right, it is kind of a nice uh, unifying kind of thing, yeah. and, and people can, um, and, and like we, we were kind of talking before we went live, uh, the fact that people can, you know, do with this design kind of what they will. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be open source, right? So yes, folks can take it and, I mean, not obviously change it, but they can use it however they want to use yeah. it. Yes, the design, once we finish the vote on Sunday, the committee will take a look at those results. It is ranked choice voting. for your, okay. So when you go yeah. to the website and submit your vote, you're not just voting for one, you are ranking them from most favorite to least favorite. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna look at that data and use that to submit a proposal to the city commission. The city commission will vote on it mm-hmm. because they are the ones who approved the original flag in 1959. Yeah. But then on the other side of that vote, this design is going to live in the public domain. Mm-hmm. Now, what does that mean? What it means is people can take it and use it how they want to use it. Um, the committee that Design the flag does not get any sort of profit from this at all. Mm-hmm. That's important. Uh, so if somebody wants to make their own fridge magnet mm-hmm. with the flag on it, we're okay with that. Mm. If somebody wants to make a pair of socks with the flag on it, we're okay with that. Mm. I would probably go out and buy a I, pair of those socks. I probably for me. would too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what we're really hoping is that um, 
This will be something that helps the people of Frankfurt and Franklin County really identify with this place mm -hmm. and the community and what it symbolizes. Um, Tom Farmer told me once that the hallmark of a successful flag redesign is that you encounter it someday as a tattoo in the wild. So <laughs> if I'm walking down Broadway or Main Street in a few years and I see it there on somebody's shoulder, that's going to show me that this worked out well yeah. and that the people of Frankfurt have really rallied around this initiative. I'm not going to no, I'm going to be first one. Yeah, yeah maybe. You, know, we felt, we you can about film tattoos. an off-site segment going yeah. to the yeah, tattoo right. parlor, yeah, getting your be, first tattoo. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Talk about committed. See, commitments. I've already got a couple. So, yeah. I so could what's probably, another one? Yeah, it's fine. Just throw it on there. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And so we actually have a few questions from the viewer, if you're okay to field that. And I think it's good for folks to know, you know, that you can go to Frankfurt flag.org and uh, do your rank choice voting um, and it ends at the end of the day on Sunday the 15th mm -hmm. um, but so so and then once a what what happens then after after the the 15th sure so we have been working with NAVA the North American Vexillological Association which mm -hmm. is a tongue twister mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> to refine the designs uh, like anything that you do there will be some last minute tweaking to make sure it looks as good as possible okay. so um, we will take a look at that. We'll put together a proposal for the city commission. We'll let it run through uh, those gears, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we'll get a good response from them. And like I said, at that point, it is sent out into the public domain. Mm -hmm. We are hoping yeah. that we can design or actually print up a few of the flag designs and gift them to the city so okay. it can be displayed at public buildings. Yeah. Um, I would love it if any of the local schools wanted to run up their flagpoles. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's also hopefully going to be the kind of thing that you could pop into some of the local independent businesses downtown and be mm -hmm. able to purchase lapel pins, fridge mm -hmm. magnets, bumper yeah, stickers, socks, what yeah. socks whatever <laughs> they want to do with it. So uh, hopefully it will be a good way yeah. to drive some interest uh, into local businesses as well. And that was uh, another question, you know, where will it be displayed? And I know you, you answered that, that it, you know, it's sort of up to the businesses and, and ran in different, different institutions around Frankfurt, but yes. hopefully at city hall, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That, that would be, be great yeah. if yeah. the city commission, the mayor uh, and other folks yeah. are excited to mm -hmm. put this on display at city hall as well. And then, um, and lastly, and you've already kind of addressed this, but what the cost is and then who will be paying for that? Mm. Yeah. So like I said, it is uh, coming at no cost whatsoever to the taxpayers of Frankfurt and Franklin County. That was important to us as one of the cornerstones of this initiative. So um, again, this is a local civic organization. Mm -hmm. We are all residents of this community and uh, we see it as something that we are able to give as a gift to Frankfurt to show what the community means yeah. to us. And if we can, maybe we can put the all five designs uh, back on screen for a second. Um, okay. And again, you go to frankfurtflag.org and do your rank choice. And it's it's very, the, the, the website's laid out really nice. It's very simple. And, and, and it just, you just hit the voting tab and it'll mm -hmm. take you right there. And then you pick, you know, A, a through E as your first through fifth choice. Yep, that's it. Can I ask, not to put you on the spot, yeah. Yeah. have you all voted? I have voted. Okay. No, I haven't voted. I guess, I, I mean, I, even though I'm not a citizen, I guess I can still have an opinion over the uh, over what the flag should look like. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you work here True. and you spend yeah. quite a bit of time yeah, here, yeah. so I think you're... And I, part of it is I don't know that I've decided yet. I've, I've got to narrow down. There's a couple that I'm, that are not my favorite, so I've got probably three. Mm. And then I've just got to pick, but I guess it's all ranked choice, right? So I just ranked, figured it's, it out. It's mm. like uh, it's like one of our favorite subjects, the Oscars. Yeah, they are ranked choice right. when it comes to nominations and for best picture as well. So all right. I'll do it, it today. Out, works out the same way. But for me, I I had a hard time because I I like something about all of these mm -hmm. designs, so mm -hmm. I had a really hard time picking, you know, the first and second and yep. third from there. So okay. Good stuff. Um, Jim, uh, do you have anything else flag related we want to chat with before? I think we've covered all of my talking points. Perfect. Uh, I'm glad we were able to uh, talk about this. Thank you for all the work that you've done to help publicize this. Sure. Uh, like yeah. I said, those votes have been coming in and we feel like we're getting a good cross section of the community represented in them. So awesome. uh, we're excited to see how things shake out. And I think what's important for uh, me to stress as one of the committee members, again, I don't get to choose which 
flag becomes the mm-hmm. next flag of the city uh-huh. of Frankfurt. I certainly have my favorite design, mm. but that doesn't mean that's going to become the one that is chosen. It's really the public uh, voice that we are listening to on this initiative. Right. So yep. that's why we are so eager to have people go to frankfurtflag.org and mm-hmm. vote. Love awesome. that. Yeah. And, it, and it's what's good is it's not just a, a one person led kind of deal. Um, you know, we, we mentioned Tom helped start it, mm-hmm. but it, it is a whole community effort. And you have, Absolutely. You have a group of folks from, from all walks of life. Historians, graphic designers, yeah. Yeah. Uh, community <laughs> Uh, volunteers. We have some high schoolers from the area as well. They are now in college and they join us via Zoom call uh, because they are out of the county, but they are still involved in this. So yes, very organic. 